a man's value versus a woman's value. It differs. It's a lot on a woman's side. But a man, his is pretty simple. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, James, to the O. A man's value, his number one value, top of the list, top of the line, his ability to provide. The more money you make, the better. And he also has to provide good sex. Fellas, if you're no good in bed, you can forget it. Because a woman rather have a guy that's not a good provider, but he's a good provider sexually versus him not being a good provider sexually, but he provides good with his money. She rather have the good sex. Because like I always say, sex and intimacy is 70% of the relationship. You got to have that. Provide money and sex. Provide, protect, lead, accountability, responsibility. Those five things. But if I have to shrink it down to just one, you have to be able to provide. That's just a must. That's it for the guy. That's his value right there. Because there's guys that are 50, 60, 70 years old still dating, having relationships because why? They got that number one thing down pat. Providing. A woman's value, however, a variety, it varies. Her number one value is how physically attractive she is. That's going to draw a lot of guys' attention because men are visuals. So the more attractive she looks, the better. And we don't even know anything about the woman yet. Just we see how she looks without saying a word to her. Now other things come into play too. After her looks. Age, the younger the better. The older she get, the value kind of decreases. Because women in their 50s, 40s and 50s, guys around that age bracket want women younger. So their value kind of declines a bit. But then you got some men out there that like older women. That be in their 20s and 30s. They like women in their 40s and 50s. So yeah, it varies. Age does plays a role. Kids. How many kids you have if you have any kids? If you're 25, 26 years old with three, four, five kids, that's going to hurt your value big time. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but your chances shrunk tremendously. Body count, being promiscuous. Yes, there are some guys that care about your past. There's guys out there that will not deal with you if you as a woman have a high body count. They're going to look at you as a 304. That ain't good. If a woman is able to conceive, can she give birth to children? If a man is looking for a woman, looking for a wife, he's going to want to know if she's able to have children. If not, it's a deal breaker for a lot of men. Ladies, you have to be a helpmate. You an asset, not a liability. Oh, I don't bring nothing to the table. I am the table. Don't do that. That's BS because both parties have to bring something to the table. I understand a man may bring more than a woman is, but you still got to bring something. You being a helpmate, that's bringing something to the table right there. And a lot of women don't think that they're helpmates. Well... Traditionally and biblically, yes, a woman is a man's helpmate. Mm -hmm. Men do help, but originally the woman is the helpmate. The guy is protecting, providing, and leading. He's doing a whole lot right there, just those three things. Taking accountability and being responsible for his woman. He's doing a whole lot right there. Those five things, he's doing a lot. Just saying. But a man's number one value is his ability to provide Woman's number one value is her physical attractiveness and then other things that follows. But yeah, a man's value and a woman's value. There you go. Is there something I'm missing? Something I didn't say that should have been said? What do you think about this video? If you agree, disagree, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to read your comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. Tell me what you think. Man's value, woman's value.